This is Hannibal with Hannibal TV. I just wanted to clear a few things up that's transpired over the last few weeks. First of all, the referee that was assigned to our match is known as a bleeder. What this means is that he likes to bleed a lot. When I met this guy years ago, I just thought he was a pile of blood. I mean, this guy just loves to bleed. Secondly, my mask, the eye holes, they weren't big enough. So I couldn't see and I just started wildly stabbing him in the head almost to death. But I didn't know that I was doing that. And furthermore, this is what we were supposed to do. And something I guess just went wrong. I've had a lot of death threats come in. The promotion that I was working with, I quit 20 minutes ago. I could post that email. I'm probably not going to, but they said I was fired 19 minutes ago. So it just shows that I quit. Anyway, people have been talking about this. Jim Cornette on his show with his co-host, Brian Last, they had some derogatory things to say about me. First of all, I want to let Brian Lass know that when I was at that gym, I wasn't working as a gym attendant. I was actually cleaning their windows, and that's why I tried to sue them. And it's all because of the Hep C thing that Abdul the Butcher gave me, which is another legend that I've worked with. He gave me Hepatitis C. He gave me Hepatitis A and Hepatitis B. He gave me Hepatitis O'Neill. He gave me every kind of Hepatitis that you could have. And that's why I sued him. And if you guys keep talking about me the way that you are, I'll sue you too, or meet you in the parking lot, or both. Brian last mentioned that I don't know how to treat women and I've had problems with women. First of all, I've never been with a woman, but in the ring, if you ask any woman that I've ever worked with, they'll tell you that I'm a gentleman and a scholar. Ask Serena De La Renta. She lets me throw her as my manager into opponents through tables. And that's basically it. Nobody knows what actually happened besides me and maybe the referee if he can still remember things after his injuries. Thank you.